Well, tonight, the time has come for me to remove the mask. The masked magician, infamously known for exposing various popular magicians' greatest illusions. It's like he's not even trying. No, he's not trying and doesn't. But he is. Mm -hmm. Well, no one's ever asked me that before. Who is um, really breaking the magician's code. There are a lot of people who think that we shouldn't be doing what we're doing. Then at the end of his controversial run, the masked magician took off the mask, revealing himself to the world. This has led to a great deal of speculation about who I really am. Well, tonight, the time has come for me to remove the mask. I'm not revealing my identity because of all of the controversy surrounding these specials or because of the pressure that I'm receiving from my fellow magicians. Every magician aspires to be that great, including me. Valentino, the masked magician. And shortly after that, he vanished from the public eye for the next 20 years. Until just recently, he has finally been spotted in a little town in Nevada. Join us as we talk about the controversial story of the masked magician. Val Valentino, born Leonard Montano on June 14, 1956, in Los Angeles, California, is best known as the masked magician. His journey from a young boy fascinated by magic to becoming one of the most controversial figures in the world of illusions is a story of passion, dedication, and defiance. Leonard Montano grew up in an environment that was ripe for fostering his interest in magic. His father was a first-generation Italian-American, and his mother was of Mexican descent. They both worked hard to provide for their family, instilling a strong work ethic in young Leonard. He often found solace in the art of magic, a fascination that began at the tender age of five when he received his first magic kit. I remember the sheer excitement of making things disappear and reappear, he once recalled. It was like holding real power in my hands. By the age of 12, Leonard was performing magic tricks at local community events and parties. His early performances were marked by a natural flair and showmanship that set him apart from other young magicians. Leonard always had a way of captivating his audience, said a childhood friend. He could make you believe in the impossible. As a teenager, Leonard's passion for magic grew stronger. He began studying the works of legendary magicians like Harry Houdini, and Harry Blackstone Sr., spending countless hours practicing and perfecting his craft. His dedication paid off when he caught the attention of legendary magician Channing Pollock, who became his mentor. Pollock, known for his sophisticated and elegant style, saw potential in Leonard and took him under his wing. Channing taught me the importance of presentation and the art of illusion, Leonard said in an interview. He always emphasized that magic was more than just tricks. It was about creating a sense of wonder and amazement. Under Pollock's guidance, Leonard honed his skills and developed his unique style, blending classic techniques with a modern twist. By the time he graduated high school, he had already built a reputation as a talented and innovative magician. Leonard's early career was marked by a series of performances at small venues and magic clubs across the country. He adopted the stage name Val Valentino, a nod to his Italian heritage and a persona that exuded mystery and charm. Val Valentino was a character I created to embody the essence of magic, he explained. It was about creating an aura of enigma and intrigue. Valentino's big break came in the late 1970s when he was invited to perform on several popular television shows. His charismatic personality and impressive illusions quickly won him a following. One of his most memorable early performances was on The Merv Griffin Show, where he performed a series of levitation tricks that left the audience spellbound. It was a surreal experience, he recalled. Seeing the audience's reaction, hearing their gasps of amazement, it was exhilarating. Despite his growing success, Valentino was acutely aware of the secretive nature of the magic community. Magicians guarded their secrets fiercely, and revealing the methods behind their illusions was considered taboo. However, Valentino believed that sharing these secrets could reignite the public's interest in magic and inspire a new generation of magicians. In the mid-1990s, he made the bold decision to step into the role of the masked magician, a mysterious figure who would reveal the secrets behind some of magic's most famous tricks. The television special Breaking the Magician's Code, Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed, aired in 1997 and caused an uproar in the magic community. I knew it would be controversial, Valentino said, but I felt it was important to demystify magic and show people the incredible skill and artistry involved in creating these illusions. 
Breaking the Magician's Code, Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed, was a groundbreaking television series that aired from 1997 to 1999, with a revival in 2008-2009. The show spanned multiple seasons and specials, captivating audiences worldwide with its bold premise, revealing the secrets behind some of the most famous magic tricks and illusions. Hosted by the enigmatic Masked Magician, who was later revealed to be Val Valentino, the show pulled back the curtain on the world of magic, much to the dismay of many magicians. The premise of breaking the magician's code was simple yet revolutionary. The masked magician performed a series of well-known magic tricks and illusions, and then, step by step, exposed the methods and techniques used to achieve these seemingly impossible feats. Each episode featured multiple tricks, ranging from classic illusions to modern marvels. The show aimed to demystify magic, providing viewers with a deeper appreciation for the skill and artistry involved. Val Valentino, as the masked magician, donned a distinctive black mask and costume, maintaining an air of mystery. His decision to reveal these secrets was driven by a desire to reinvigorate public interest in magic and inspire future magicians. I wanted to show people the incredible creativity and ingenuity that goes into these illusions, Valentino explained. By revealing the secrets, I hope to challenge magicians to come up with even more amazing and innovative tricks. One of the most iconic tricks revealed on the show was the levitation illusion. In this trick, the magician appears to make an assistant float in mid-air, defying gravity. The masked magician demonstrated the secret behind this illusion, revealing that it relied on a hidden support system and clever positioning. By using a specially designed apparatus and precise choreography, the assistant could appear to float effortlessly. Levitation is one of the most mesmerizing illusions, Valentino noted, but it's all about creating the perfect angle and using the right equipment. The real magic is in the details. Another classic illusion exposed on the show was the sawing a woman in half trick. In this illusion, the magician seemingly saws their assistant in half, only to later reveal that the assistant is unharmed. The masked magician revealed that this trick relied on a specially designed box with hidden compartments, allowing the assistant to contort their body in a way that created the illusion of separation. This trick is all about misdirection and precise timing, Valentino explained. It's a perfect example of how magicians use optical illusions and sleight of hand to create astonishing effects. One of the most spectacular tricks revealed was the Vanishing Elephant Illusion, famously performed by Harry Houdini and later by David Copperfield. In this trick, a large elephant appears to vanish into thin air. The masked magician exposed that this illusion relied on a combination of mirrors, lighting and misdirection. By using a specially constructed stage and strategically placed mirrors, the elephant could be concealed from the audience's view. Making something as large as an elephant disappear is a feat of engineering and stagecraft, Valentino said. It's a testament to the power of illusion and the magician's ability to control what the audience sees. The bullet catch trick, one of the most dangerous and controversial illusions, was also revealed on the show. In this trick, the magician appears to catch a fired bullet in their mouth or hand. The masked magician disclosed that this trick often used a combination of sleight of hand, specially designed firearms, and theatrical effects to create the illusion of danger. The bullet catch is a high-risk illusion that has injured many magicians over the years, Valentino commented. Revealing its secrets was about highlighting the bravery and skill of those who perform it, breaking the magician's code had a profound impact on the world of magic. The show was both praised and criticized for its bold approach. Many magicians felt that revealing these secrets betrayed the art of magic and undermined their craft. Others, however, believed that the show revitalized interest in magic and pushed performers to innovate. David Copperfield, one of the world's most famous magicians, expressed his concern at the time saying, magic is about wonder and mystery. Revealing the secrets takes away that sense of amazement. On the other hand, Penn Gillette of the magic duo Penn and Teller, who are known for their own irreverent approach to magic, saw the potential benefits. By exposing these tricks, you're challenging magicians to come up with better and more creative illusions, he said. It pushes the art form forward. Val Valentino himself faced significant backlash from the magic community. I knew it would be controversial, he admitted, but my goal was never to destroy magic. It was to show people the incredible skill and creativity involved 
and to inspire the next generation of magicians. The backlash against breaking the magician's code was intense and multifaceted, with significant legal, professional and ethical ramifications for Val Valentino and the broader magic community. When the show first aired in 1997, it was clear that revealing the secrets behind some of the most famous magic tricks would stir controversy. Magicians and illusionists who had spent years perfecting their craft and protecting their methods felt betrayed and outraged. Prominent figures in the magic community expressed their disdain for Valentino's actions. Revealing the secrets takes away that sense of amazement. Many magicians saw Valentino's actions as a direct attack on the integrity of their profession. The Magic Castle, a prestigious private club for magicians in Hollywood, banned Valentino from their premises. What Valentino did was a violation of the magician's code of ethics, said Milt Larson, co-founder of the Magic Castle. He broke the trust that magicians have with each other and with the audience. The backlash extended beyond verbal condemnations and professional ostracism. Valentino faced multiple lawsuits from magicians who claimed that their livelihoods were damaged by the exposure of their secrets. In one high-profile case, magician Andre Cole sued Valentino for revealing the secrets behind several of his patented illusions. Cole argued that the exposure of these secrets had resulted in financial losses and diminished the value of his performances. Valentino defended his actions by claiming that he was contributing to the evolution of magic by challenging magicians to create new and innovative illusions. I didn't do it to hurt the art of magic, he explained. I did it to evolve it, to push the boundaries and inspire others to think creatively. However, the controversy didn't end with legal battles. The show's impact was felt on a more personal level by some magicians and aspiring performers who attempted to replicate the tricks revealed on the show. Valentino often simplified the explanations of the tricks, omitting crucial details and safety precautions that professional magicians adhered to. This led to several incidents where individuals attempting to perform these illusions were injured. One notable example involved the infamous bullet catch trick. The masked magician disclosed a simplified version of the trick that did not adequately convey the risks and complexities involved. An amateur magician, inspired by the show, attempted the bullet catch without the necessary expertise and safety measures, resulting in a severe injury. The bullet catch is a high-risk illusion that has injured many magicians over the years, Valentino commented. Revealing its secrets was about highlighting the bravery and skill of those who perform it. However, his explanation failed to underscore the importance of professional training and caution, leading to dangerous attempts by inexperienced performers. The levitation trick was another illusion that caused issues. Valentino revealed a version of the trick that relied on a hidden support system, but he did not fully explain the engineering and safety measures required to perform it safely. This led to incidents where aspiring magicians attempted to levitate assistance without the proper equipment, resulting in falls and injuries. Levitation is one of the most mesmerizing illusions, Valentino noted, but it's all about creating the perfect angle and using the right equipment. The real magic is in the details. Unfortunately, these details were often glossed over, leading to hazardous attempts by those who were not adequately trained or equipped. The vanishing elephant trick, another spectacular illusion revealed on the show, also caused problems. Valentino explained the use of mirrors and lighting to create the illusion, but omitted the specific technical details necessary for safe and effective performance. As a result, some magicians who tried to replicate the trick without the proper understanding of stagecraft and engineering faced failures and potential hazards. The backlash from these incidents highlighted the ethical responsibilities that come with revealing the secrets of magic. Many argued that Valentino's approach was irresponsible and that he should have taken greater care to ensure that the explanations were accurate and comprehensive. The Magic Circle, a prestigious magic society based in London, issued a statement condemning the show and its impact. Magic is an art that relies on secrecy and skill, the statement read. Revealing the secrets without proper context and caution not only undermines the art, but also endangers those who attempt to replicate the illusions without adequate knowledge and training. As the legal battles and professional ostracism took their toll, Valentino decided to retire from public life. By the early 2000s, he had withdrawn almost entirely from the public eye. Reports suggest that he relocated to a small, quiet town in Nevada, 
Seeking solace away from the controversies that had defined his recent years, I needed to find peace and distance myself from the chaos, Valentino admitted in a rare interview. Living in a small town, away from the spotlight, has given me a chance to reflect and heal. Valentino's life in Nevada is a stark contrast to his days as the masked magician. He leads a reclusive existence, rarely making public appearances or granting interviews. The town where he resides is described as serene and picturesque, offering the tranquility that Valentino sought after the turbulent years of his career. Neighbours and locals, aware of his past but respecting his privacy, describe him as a reserved but friendly individual. He's just another resident here, a neighbour shared. We know who he is, but we respect his need for privacy. He's been through a lot. Despite his retreat from the public eye, Valentino has not entirely abandoned magic. He continues to practice and perfect his craft, albeit away from the stage and cameras. Magic will always be a part of who I am, he said. Even if I'm not performing for audiences, I still find joy in creating illusions and mastering new techniques. This personal practice serves as a therapeutic outlet for Valentino, allowing him to maintain a connection to the art that has been central to his life. Valentino's reclusive lifestyle also includes occasional mentorship for young, aspiring magicians. He offers guidance and advice to those who seek him out, sharing his vast knowledge and experience while emphasizing the importance of ethics in the craft. I've learned a lot from my experiences, Valentino reflected. I want to help the next generation of magicians avoid the mistakes I made and appreciate the true artistry of magic. In the years since his retirement, Valentino has maintained a low profile on social media and in public forums. He occasionally shares insights and reflections on his journey, but these instances are rare. When he does speak, his words carry a tone of introspection and regret. I never imagined the impact my actions would have, he once wrote. I hope that in sharing my story, others can learn and grow. Valentino's retreat from the public eye has also been marked by a focus on personal growth and well-being. He has taken up meditation and mindfulness practices, finding peace in these disciplines. Finding inner peace has been crucial for me, he shared. It's helped me cope with the past and look forward to the future with a sense of calm. While Valentino's legacy as the masked magician remains controversial, his contributions to the world of magic are undeniable. He challenged the norms and pushed the boundaries of the art, sparking conversations and debates that continue to this day. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities and responsibilities that come with breaking conventions and challenging traditions. In his quiet life in Nevada, Val Valentino reflects on his journey with a mix of pride and regret. I've had an extraordinary life filled with incredible highs and devastating lows, he said. But through it all, I've learned the importance of staying true to oneself and the value of redemption. Magic is about creating wonder and joy, and I hope that in some way I've contributed to that. Val Valentino's current life is a testament to his resilience and his enduring passion for magic. Away from the controversies and spotlight, he continues to find solace and purpose in the art that has defined his life. His story is one of transformation, reflection, and the ongoing pursuit of personal and artistic growth.